What's up everybody, it's Snaggy Cape, and I'm bringing you another gameplay video. Uh, this time is some GTA 4 Online, uh, where me and a friend were trying to go for some funny moments, but my Roxio does not record uh, volume from my microphone, which kind of sucks. But I'm going to get that fixed so I can bring you guys some more content, some different content. And yeah, so I decided instead of just deleting the footage, I uh, figured Grand Theft Auto 5 was on the way. Or is right around the corner. So I talk about some of the features I found online that you might have not seen anywhere else. Hopefully you haven't seen them anywhere else. But anyways, uh, let's get started because some of these are kind of interesting to me. I'll name them. Ah, whatever. Um, let's get started. Yeah. Uh, so first of all, in the single player, the whole map is open in the beginning. The whole map, like you don't have to play through like a certain amount of missions and unlock the second island or whatever you want to call it so it's just open from the beginning which is pretty cool and you could just explore just find shit which i thought was pretty cool but the map is also clouded i guess from if you press pause it's like it's just a big cloud and whenever you explore somewhere the, the cloud clears up and you can see what's around which is pretty cool i thought that was pretty cool um what else hidden packages are gone uh, so, they're still going to be collectibles, but you have to do them through uh, side missions and special dialogue on the radio is one of the examples that they gave us. Um, so, you can, like, <laughs> one of the, the radio hosts, like, he's talking and he tells you about, like, he, uh, they're opening, like, a murder case from, like, 20 years ago, and you can go there and you can help solve it or whatever. Which is pretty cool, instead of having to shoot those little pigeons from uh, GTA 4 or finding the packages from GTA 3. Which I thought was pretty cool. Another thing, um, is all everything in the single player will go to the multiplayer. So like dogs, like dog owning a dog and insurance and shit like that. Or whatever you can do on single player goes to multiplayer, which is pretty cool. Another thing, uh, they're adding a weapon wheel. Which I thought was awesome and they should have had a long time ago. Um, all you have to do is just tap a button and a wheel of uh, weapons will come up. Which is pretty cool. And it's a little bit more organized. Um, some of the weapons that are returning are pistols, automatic pistols, assault rifles, uh, rocket and grenade launchers, and sniper rifles. And a new weapon would be the minigun that you see in the trailer. Which is pretty cool. And he's also apparently wearing a juggernaut suit, which is pretty awesome. Um, they are all customizable too. All the weapons are customizable, and I'm thinking uh, definitely they're gonna have silencers. But if you put a, <laughs> I hope you could put explosive rounds in the uh, minigun, which would be sick. Um, but anyways, if you like the video, leave a like. Peace. 